ready to speak of my dream. Of course, Deliverer. But first, you must help me. How? I have visions of danger. A dark cloud looms over three heads. An adventurer, a philanderer, and a beggar are all at risk. What would I do for them? Give each an amulet to guard against the darkness. One may be found near the great temple, one in its eastern district, and one in the tunnels that wind below it. I'll wait for you by the docks at the basin of the great temple. Ready for a fight, Magi? Always. <laughs> that is done. A freedom! <laughs> you are quite the fighter. I do my best. They caught me off guard the first time. The seer offers this amulet to keep you from further harm. My children cannot eat a stone. I cannot do more for you than this. May your luck change course. Pardon my rudeness. You have already risked yourself to save me. As long as I am alive, my family still has a chance. Tunnels the seer mentioned. I'm on the right track.
Samulet preserve this car. I'd like to say I'm capable of walking, but that would be a lie. Set aside your pride. I will carry you. to reward you with, except my thanks. I will claim my reward elsewhere. The seer sends this amulet. His visions show you are in need of protection. Why would I need this piece of junk? Just take it so we can conclude our business. Fine. I suppose wearing it will make my mother happy. That is all three amulets given out. Now to return to the seer. Watch out! Coming through! Whoa! 
Have you delivered the amulets? Yes. One arrived too late to protect its bearer. Which? The adventurer. He met a lonely end, bitten by a snake. This is sad news. All the same, I consider your debt paid. A sacred island lies farther in the embrace of Mother Nile. Bring me there, and I will tear aside the curtain that shrouds your nightmares. Now, deliver. Tell me what you saw. I saw... I saw what has lain behind my eyes every night for the past year. It begins with a sandstorm. I rise to my feet and walk a corridor of ruins passing into the Hall of Judgment. There, a twin of myself... Let us begin again. There, a twin of myself places a black stone heart into the scales of my heart. It is then that the god snake strikes. Apep, larger than a mountain, larger than reason. A ball of light appears in my hands. I fight the snake and win, though not without injury. Then I rise through dark. Would you be free of the curse that plagues your sleep? There is a ritual that will banish it from your mind forever. Yes. Do it then. Go beneath the waters south of here and bring up the statue of Gnome from the sunken temple of Ramses. With this likeness of the great potter to hand, the ritual can be performed. Here is the statue. Hnum, sculptor of children. He will battle Apep in your place. This ritual needs your mind's strength. Sit by my side and meditate as I speak with the gods. Grow, oh, O oh light. Come forth, O oh light. Rise, O oh light. Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. 
Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found the ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. I will get the ritual item first, and then hunt down the birds. An abandoned tomb. The maid servant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. Oh, no. Welcome to my humble shop. A Magi? How surprising. Seeking my... I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. And in the second chamber lie the worldly goods of Horapolo and Shesh. To protect them and provide them sustenance. The message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. Hmm. Nothing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, uh, she is hiding something. An inventory. A talisman in blue faience is listening. I should keep looking around. and did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. That is all the items. Now to meet Tamhotep on the road to the pyramids. You have browsed long enough, Medjai. You're scaring our customers. What you need, Tam Hotel. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. 
Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. Oh. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. <sighs> Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. Hey, wait! Die, die! We are here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Patar's blessing on you. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. <laughs> 